Let's take a detailed look at the Frontier 12 and all the built-in features that come on it. So we're going to start in the bow here and work our way to the stern and go through each component. So starting up here, we're going to take a look at the bow mount handle. This is going to be a great access point to be able to maneuver our Frontier 12. If we remove these screws, we have the inserts, and that's going to allow us to put a bow mount plate up on front, which is going to be uh, for a bow mount motor. We can also put uh, an Anchor Wizard bow mount plate on here, which is going to allow us to put our Anchor Wizard off the front. Right here, these are rod tip protectors. So this is when we run our rod along the gunnel of our Frontier 12. The tips can go here and keep the rod protected. This is going to be a front hatch, and it has a ring strap that holds it down. We open up the front hatch, and then we have the hatch sack inside. And this is going to be a great spot to keep things safe when we're out in the water. We can also remove the sack, and now we have access into the hole for through hole wiring or other needs. We have some small sets of track right here. And these small sets of track are going to be great tie down points to use track straps to tie something down, as well as you can put a buddy seat right here. And the buddy seat is going to allow us to take a passenger out in the water. If they're small, they can put the feet forward. If they're a little bit bigger, they can put their feet back. Taking a look here, this is going to be our 70 inch tracks. This is the main tracks that run on the Frontier 12. And our 360 fusion seat goes into this track and has adjustment back and forth, as well as you can put a second 360 fusion seat or a bench seat in the same track systems. This is going to be the rod clip, and is what it's going to allow us to do is take our rods and hold them against that gunnel as I go up to the rod tip protector. This is the decking kit. This is the basic decking kit that comes on the Frontier 12. It has a couple purposes. Uh, it'll, it muffles things as we stand up. If we drop anything, we're not going to spook any fish, as well as it adds comfort when we're out in the water. This is available to get a completion kit to do the rest of your Frontier 12. This is the basic decking kit that comes with it. Looking here, this is the big wheel pulley, and this is, uh, is part of the Quick Connect system. The Quick Connect system is for rudder, pivot drive, and it's going to be the EPS system, so those electric propulsion system. And that's going to allow us to have uh, the retract. So the cord's going to come up here, we're going to be able to retract those motors and lock them in. Taking a look here at the side, we're going to have our handle, as well as our cup holder on this ring strap. So this can hold water bottles and cups, and anything else we have out in the water. If we take a look here, we'll see this J-hook, and it's going to be present on both sides of the boat. This J-hook works in conjunction with this ring strap, so your uh, paddle can come in here, and the ring strap goes over, locks into place, and hooks onto the J-hook, holding it there. While we're over here, we also can see these inserts here. These inserts are for the, the handle of the hand steering system for the Quick Connect. We've mentioned the 360 fusion seat that comes standard on the Frontier 12. It does have full 360 rotation and slides back and forth in that 70 inch piece of track. As we go here, we'll see two deck rings. And these deck rings are multi-purpose function points so we can tie off to different objects as we're out. We also have on the side here a cleat for tying off. The same thing with the multi-function, tie off anchor ropes or other, uh, other rope style objects there. We have pad eye here, and this pad eye is going to be part of the quick connect system. So the re retract coming through, the retract core is going to go through this pad eye. We have another multi-function pad eye right here, and these are going to be the scupper plugs. And the scupper plugs are for the scuppers themselves, and this is what the distinguishes between the self-failing and the max weight capacity. So we can plug those and get our max weight. We have two small sets of track in the back here, and this is going to be for the track straps or other objects. So you can put down a cooler or black pack or other items here and use the track straps to strap that down. We have our toggle handle in the back. This is going to be a great point for moving our Frontier 12 in conjunction with the bow handle. And in this back here we'll see the uh, square transom of new canoe. This is going to be for our quick connect system like we talked about. So the rudder, pivot drive, or EPS system is going to go off the square transom and allow us to have foot or hand steering as well as we can use our outboard motor bracket which is going to allow us to have uh, gas outboards. We can also do electric outboards Anything like that. On the side, we'll see we have a drain plug. Just in case any water ever gets into our Frontier 12, we can drain it out. And our HIN number. So that's going to be a look at the built-in details on the Frontier 12. Go ahead and check out newcanoe.com for more details on the Frontier 12.